It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to compare and interpret a graph. Here's our question today. We have Melinda and Paul who ran in a marathon. This graph shows the relationship between the distance and the time they each ran. Right here's our graph with Paul and Melinda. We know that Melinda ran at a constant speed of 5 miles per hour. We're going to select from these drop down menus to correctly complete the sentences. Here's the first sentence. Paul ran at a, and you're going to pick slower or faster, constant speed than Melinda, an equation that could represent the relationship between Paul's distance and his time is y equals, and you're going to pick one of these four values, times x, where x is the time in hours and y is the distance in miles that Paul ran. So you're going to pause the video here, do your best work to pick one from each of these drop down boxes, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. Here, we're going to find and understand that Melinda ran at a constant speed of 5 miles per hour. So we're going to go to the graph and find her in the graph. Here is the line that represents Melinda. So she is running at a constant speed of 5 miles per hour. That unit rate, because this is a proportional relationship passing through the origin, tells me the slope of the line. So that means that this is increasing 5 miles every hour. 5 miles every hour is how fast Melinda is running. Now, we also see that Paul's line is over here. We can see that Paul's line is steeper. Seeing as Paul's line is steeper, and we know that Melinda, with a unit rate, because it's a proportional relationship, that is our constant of proportionality, y is equal to 5 times x is the equation of the line for Melinda. And because Paul's line is steeper, Right here, we know that Paul, with a steeper line, is going to have a greater constant of proportionality or slope. So we know that he is running faster than the constant speed of Melinda. So an equation that could represent the relationship between Paul's distance is we know that Paul's constant of proportionality or slope, his unit rate, is greater than 5, seeing as his line is steeper. So therefore, we know it can't be 1, 3, or 5, and the only option here is going to be that Paul, from his line, is so steep that it has to be greater than 5, making it the only choice of 7. So we know that Paul ran at a faster constant speed than Melinda, and the only thing that could represent his line right here is y equals 7x. And there you have it. That is how you could compare and interpret a graph. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.